So um, the first concept that I want to talk about today is inheritance. And just like in the real world with actual inheritance, uh, inheritance involves the passing along of something from a parent to a child. In this case, it's a parent class passing along methods and properties to a child class. So uh, an example of this, and I'll, I'll code this in just a minute, but the, uh, sort of a visual example of this would be if we have a generic vehicle class. Okay, so we create a blueprint for a generic vehicle. And that vehicle can drive, and it also has a, uh, a variable that represents the amount of gas that it has in the tank. And that vehicle is, is basic. We don't really know much more about that vehicle. But I can use that vehicle class to actually create subclasses, maybe more specific. I could create a motorcycle or, in this case, a truck and a car class. And those classes are actually going to be based on or derived from the vehicle class. So the truck, for example, will have not only the methods uh, like a load up and a payload. So if I want to load up the truck with something, I can, I can define that with the payload. But the truck also, because it's derived from the vehicle class, will have the drive method and the gas property as well by inheritance. Now the car, you can see I haven't defined anything new about the car, but I've just sort of named a new class that is a more specific or a variety of the vehicle class. And at this point, all the car has is what it's inherited from the vehicle class. So both of those have those drive and gas method, methods and properties. And then the truck has the additional ones that I've created in that truck class. The car class does not have the load up or payload properties because those were created at that level. So, and you would say that the truck and the car are peer classes and both are children or subclasses of vehicle. Vehicle is also often referred to as the super class for truck and car. So that, that's different ways that you can express that relationship. So in code, if I want to do this, bless you, I can create a vehicle class. And in that class, I can define, I could just say, make a drive method here. And I would say, maybe you drove this vehicle. Okay, and I could say also give that a, a property and that property would be uh, gas. So let's just say FL gas and it's a float. So we'll say it's 20.5 gallons of gas in the tank, something like that. Now, if I wanted to, I could create a truck class that's a subclass of that. So I would say class truck. And because it's a subclass of vehicle, I am going to tell it that I'm using vehicle as the base blueprint or the super class for truck. And so that's how I would express that relationship. And you can see when I highlight this or when I click into this word, it highlights the super class. So it actually understands that there's a relationship there. And I can say, create a into payload. I don't even know what that means, 100 pounds of whatever, 100 tons or whatever I want to say. Uh, I can fit 100 penguins in the back of my truck. Who knows? But 100 of something. And I can also define a method. And we'll just say we'll keep these really basic because we don't want to get too complicated. 
you loaded up the truck. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to demonstrate the inheritance because truck not only has the payload and the load up, it also has, by virtue of inheritance, these things. So if I say my truck equals truck, then I can say my truck dot and look at there we go. It has the drive, it has gas, it has payload. So if I want to drive that truck, notice it's not expressed down here. That's defined up here. But it will still work just the same way as before. Okay? So that is the most basic way that inheritance works is through the passing of methods and properties from one class to a subclass and then we can differentiate that subclass by making it more specific. So that is inheritance.